Hi, I'm Mike Kim with Fox, and today we're going to go ahead and look at the, the power tank uh, nitrogen regulator kit and the shock fill tool. So the first uh, first step is taking the regulator and hooking it up to the tank. Um, one cool feature about this is it's actually got an O-ring here, so you don't have to tighten, really, really tighten this uh, this fitting here, uh, which a lot of times uh, when you don't have this O-ring, you'll you'll see you'll hear leaks um, if you don't really really tighten it, especially on ones that have been used a lot. So pretty easy there and we'll use the, the power tank wrench here and just give that a little bit of pressure and that's pretty much it. And then we'll take our shock filler tool here. Again, with our uh, no air loss chuck. Um, super easy to use, no wrench needed for this. Just hook it up to your Schrader. And everything's just hand tight, which makes it super easy and quick. And also with the, uh, the quick disconnect fitting here, super easy to uh, get this thread onto the, tra the Schrader. And then once you have that connected, uh, I like to make sure this is all the way out first. And then connect it to your airline that's on the regulator. And then you can go ahead and turn your bottle on. And then I typically, I typically like to set my pressure a little higher than what I need because then I can really uh, fine tune it with the gauge that's on the, the shock filler tool. So typically our shocks, uh, baseline is 200 pounds. So as you can see, I'm a little over 200 pounds. And then now we can go ahead and engage the, the no air loss truck. And then start filling the shock using this, uh, this valve here. Uh, what's nice about this valve is I can I can bump the pressure up and go exactly to what pressure I want. Now you'll see that because it's able, the shock uh, has a higher volume than what the hose can flow. Um, it takes a, a second for the gauge to catch up. So I like to just kind of bump them a little bit and get to the pressure I want. So right there we got 200, and then we'll go ahead and disengage the no air loss chuck. And with this valve closed and the, the no air loss chuck disengaged, we can go ahead and pull the quick disconnect off, and now we can disconnect it from our shock. And that's it. So in certain instances, like our UTV shocks, uh, we don't have a Schrader built into it uh, on the end cap. Uh, we have more of a tamper-proof style uh, needle fill uh, valve on there. So uh, PowerTank also sells the, uh, the needle fill as well. And basically at the end of it, you, you would basically insert the needle and then you would fill it um, through this uh, shader that's built onto the end of it. The other uh, uh, scenario that you may find yourself is some of our uh, UTV shocks also have more of a recessed shader. And so then for that instance, you would uh, use this uh, power tank uh, extension. And basically you would just uh, screw this onto the end of the shader and then fill from here. And the way this is set up, the Schrader actually disconnects before the seal is broken. So you don't lose any when you go, to, go ahead and unscrew that.